Fuji's new lightweight 19 to 45 mil Premista, I think it's going to be a game changer. As a camera operator, particularly operating things like Steadicam and gimbals, with full frame cameras, everything gets heavier, bigger, that includes lenses. And this particular lens, it's relatively small and relatively light. 19 to 45 gives me an opportunity to put one lens on pretty much for the whole day. It's like using five primes, but not having to ever change. How can we maximize the storytelling with that one lens? When you go to large format, you're always a little conscious that there's going to be too much detail, too much information that's going to detract from the storytelling that might reveal something of the skin. This lens doesn't have that. It's just beautifully rendered. I did this deliberately with natural light so the lens would show us all its characteristics. It's the most difficult situation for any lens when you're shooting indoors against the light. The coating of this lens is absolutely stunning. The T-stop on the Promista is at a really sweet spot it's at the 2.9, especially with the large format. It, it feels like a 2. Wherever we wanted to be on the lens, it just felt like a prime. The verticals are just very strong. Like in the beginning of our short film, you see a pan that goes almost 180. Although it's a very clean lens, it still has character to it. Tilt up, put him at the bottom of the frame. You see a, a soft flare come through there. It's very subtle, didn't create any extra halation or polygon shapes. Very smooth bouquet. It just holds the lines very strong. You can get the wide angle that feels like a 14 and 45, which feels like a 65 with a close up. You know, it's just, it's magic. I find myself in my work using wide lenses a lot, trying to really portray speed. Car to car, aerials, establishments, cranes. Honestly, probably 50% of the work that I do, I could use this. When I say I want to just push in or make a slight adjustment, it just happens and it's not a lens change. It's really nice when you don't have to change lenses for different setups. You don't have to change lenses when you go from the techno crane to the Steadicam, to the dolly, to the sticks. It was just really efficient. Those wider, closer fields are absolutely fantastic when you want to do something that puts the audience in the location with the actor. Finally, we're getting zooms that can do the job on a full frame sensor that look amazing and it's not going to break my back. This lens gave us the time we needed because everything was so compact in terms of time and everything had to come together so quick. This lens really saved us so much time and allowed me specifically to do my job better. Coming from a background of having used the Premier range this was something that matches so beautifully to the quality that Fuji have been maintaining in recent years. Whether you have $50 million or $5,000, time is still of the essence. The production always wants to know, well, can we do it? You know, can, can it get done in the 12 hours? It's got the focal length, the focal range, the speed, the quality of the contrast and the glass that is never gonna let you down. And as a DP, you go out with confidence. Perception is the zoom lens is just not as good as a prime lens. I think the perception might be changing because of a zoom lens like this Promister. I can stay on that zoom all day, all week, all episode. If you're using other lenses from the Promister range, this lens will cut in perfectly. Of course, the gear positions are exactly the same as the 28 to 100 mil. Not that much re-rigging to do, even if you have to change lenses. But really what blows my mind about the Promista is its weight. 
reds, DXLs. This is the perfect combination for quick movement as you need. And from 19 to 45 in full frame, it's ideal. This is going to be the lens to go to. It's the perfect little zoom you need.